Hello, this is Vlogmas number five, my abysmal attempt at Vlogmas, but hey ho, this is my Vlogmas. Um, so my last vlog, I left you arriving at Coimbra and um, arriving at my Airbnb, which I'd booked for a month. As you can see, I'm no longer in the city. I've had a couple of moves since then. So I'm going to, in this video, I'm going to show you Coimbra. Then I'm going to show you me moving on to my next destination, which was Anadea in the Aveira region, also still in central Portugal. And how I've ended up, I've moved again and I am now settled here near Caldastrena. I've probably mullered how that said, but anyway. So I'm going to show you um, some of Coimbra. I'm going to show you Andea. And I've also, since I left my last vlog, I've um, obviously got my NIF number, opened a bank account and got my five year residency. So I think I will show you all of that in this video and um, see you on the other side. This is the view from my Airbnb. It was in a nice little courtyard in the historic part of town, so it's a nice view to wake up to. Um, Coimbra is the fourth largest urban area of Portugal, and I thought it was a really pretty city with its historic university, one of the oldest in the world, with its historic buildings, and the old part with the narrow cobbled streets, the old cathedral, archaeology structures um, dating back to Roman times. Transport is really good. You could easily live in Coimbra without a car. There's two stations, one right in the centre and one just a little bit further out, but still really easy access. You could walk in from both stations. Um, you've got good bus network. You can get a, a prepaid card to travel on the buses, um, so it works out a little bit cheaper, and then you just swipe it as you get on the buses. There's a trolley bus system. Ubers are really good in, in, the, ta in the city, um, always available. There's the river that goes through the town, the Rio Mondego. I've no idea if I pronounced that correctly, um, which is really nice. It's got um, several bridges over the river, um, one pedestrian bridge. Over on the east side of town, you've got the newer part of the city. Uh, there's a big shopping centre called the Alma Shopping Centre. There's also some other retail, outdoor re retail parks. Um, all the usual shops you'd want, sports shops, large pet shops. In the shopping centre you've got lots of shops, everything you'd expect, a Primark um, and a food court. Then over the other side of the river, on the west side, there's another big shopping centre or shopping mall called the Forum. So, and then obviously in town you've got lots of little shops and cafes, so it's really nice. You can definitely live in that city without a car. I did a walk around the city one day, which was quite, you know, around the outskirts, which was quite doable. So you could definitely um, live there without a car. One thing you can't help but notice in Portugal, um, not just Coimbra, but Portugal in general, I saw it all over, is graffiti or street art depending on what camp you're in. And talking of art, these amazing buskers were out on the high street when I was out shopping. My favourite bits of the city, the botanical garden was absolutely amazing. That's within easy walking distance of the uh, centre of town. There's a lovely country park just over on the northeast side of town, which is really nice if you like nature, if you've got dogs to walk. Also, there's some good outdoor sort of gym equipment, great place to jog, do your exercises. I think I saw tennis courts there, nice little calf. 
Hello, I hope you enjoyed that little bit of um, a tour and information about Corimbra. I know at the beginning of the video, I said I was going to tell you about my next location, Anadea, and um, getting my NIF and opening a bank account, but I lied. I'm going to leave the video here with me on the train onto my next destination and tell you those things in the next vlog. So if you got this far, thank you for staying with me and listening to my journey. And if you are dreaming of coming to Portugal, I hope these videos are keeping you inspired and you get to be here soon. Ta for now.